Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dell Vice President and GM, Cloud and Solutions, Jim Gontier. Good morning, Boston. How are you all doing this morning? Oh, come on. How are you guys doing this morning? This is a great event. OK, that's more like it. So first of all, thank you very much to the Red Hat team for giving us the uh, privilege of having this conversation today. And what we're going to talk about today is exactly how we, Dell plus Red Hat and this larger community, are accelerating open in what we refer to as a future-ready enterprise. And when I talk about future-ready enterprise, what I'm referring to is infrastructure that helps folks work both today and tomorrow. Things that work in today's infrastructure and takes them all the way from client to data center to cloud, but more importantly, a lot of the common themes that you've heard. You've heard things about how do we ensure that our collective work remains open, flexible, modular, and is heterogeneous and takes the collective brilliance of everybody in this room who participates and actually turns it to the greater good. So one of the things that, uh, you know, the pleasure of my position is I get to travel around the world and talk to a lot of you. I also get to talk to a lot of customers. And yes, Dell is known for a lot of the great client products we produce, a lot of the great server products we produce. But frankly, sometimes we don't take enough credit or actually tell people about the really great work that we're doing this com in the community. So one of the things that I tend to do is I start off with a did you know. When I say did you know, how many of you actually knew that Dell was the first, first OEM to actually join the community? We were also the first OEM to actually ship an OpenStack solution. You heard about the 15-year partnership, which goes all the way back to one of the first OEMs to factory install Linux into our product. So as we talk about OpenStack basically powering cloud, when we talk about OpenStack and some of the things we've done, you should all feel rest assured that not only are we doing really good work in terms of partnering with all of you, but on the other side, which is infrastructure, the servers, the client components, the networking, the storage, the software, just take a look at some of the stats. When you talk about some of the larger uh, folks who are out there powering the cloud, we all know the top five by name. The good news is, if you look under the cover, we power a lot of them. If you look at what's going on in terms of what's happening in the data center itself, we power a lot of the other components. So whether it's powering the actual partners for cloud or actually providing them some of the software and the various other components, that's some of the things that we take pride in. But it's not about us. It's about the partnerships. And so you've seen a lot of the announcements that we've made just this week. You've seen a lot of the announcements that we've had ever since April with the Red Hat team. One of the things that you'll be able to see clearly downstairs is not just what we're doing with Red Hat. How are we working with other industry leaders? How are we partnering with folks such as Intel, SAP, Cumulus, and Accenture to take the work that we're all collectively doing and actually now move this from something where it's a very small community and it's more along the lines of high end and truly do something that we pride ourselves on at Dell, which is democratize it and make it something that everybody can turn around and use. But it's not about the results. It's not about the numbers we're putting up on the wall. It really is about customers. What are we collectively doing on behalf of those customers? How are we helping them with business outcomes? How are we helping them deliver on the kinds of things that they're looking to go do? So here's two or three just industry vertical optics of what we're able to do collectively today. If you look at the top US providers, they're working with us collectively because we're not bringing them products. We're actually bringing them collaboration. We're taking our industry knowledge. We're taking our capabilities as an end-to-end -end life cycle, uh, so I guess we'll call it provider, and allowing them to do what they need to do best. If you look at some of the toughest customers on the planet, the FSI or the financial services community, two out of three of US banks are working with us on the OpenStack components. And the reason for that is because, again, we're not bringing them components. We're sitting down with their folks. We're jointly architecting what is going to be a secure open cloud. And then, you know, I was joking with my team uh, last night. They're a bunch of type A's, and they're really hard on themselves. They said uh, seven continents. I actually think there's probably only about six that are truly inhabitable. So I'm going to say four out of six of the continents where OpenStack is available. Dell is not only deploying them 
with everybody else, but the problem is, is that they're taking what should have been a really hard task, and we've made it very simple even for public and post-secondary schools. So the bottom line is, a lot of the collective work that we're doing, we are making a difference. We are taking that collaborative approach, and we are making sure that when it comes to customers and when it comes to helping them in terms of their business outcomes, we're driving that home. But here's the fun part. The fun part is, folks are now actually starting to see that. And you know, I could tell you all of the optics that we have, but one of the things that we like to pride ourselves on is making sure we have outside-in input. And the way that we get some of that outside input is through multiple sources. But for today, we just wanted to focus on what the industry, the influencers, and true C-suite, uh, we'll call it advisors, are telling folks when it comes to Dell, our partnership with Red Hat, and some of the other partnerships that we're creating. Now, some of you who read ahead know that is not a grammatical error. This is actually from somebody at Ovum. He's a very proper, very English gentleman. So his words are, Dell are providing that end-to-end -end solution. We're embracing our openness. We were kind of you know, born that way in a dorm room 31 years ago. And we're making sure, and it's something that's in our DNA, that we want to avoid vendor lock-in. When we talk about partnerships, again, that's in our DNA. We embrace our partners. We don't compete with our partners. We don't have our own distro. We're not you know, trying to get people locked in with a particular form factor or a particular type of offering. And we want to take that industry standard heritage, the ability to give people true heterogeneous choice, not one form factor, not one fabric, one way of doing things through reference architecture. Take that industry standard heritage and extend that to our data center leadership. And then last but not least is you're going to see a lot of outputs. You're going to see a lot of releases on how we're taking that innovation and how we're taking a lot of the R&D spend that we're putting in place to help all of you not only help make open source a lot simpler, a lot easier to deploy, but a lot more cost effective and helping our customers drive to those kind of business outcomes. But in order to affect a strategy, in order to have that strategy truly be delivered on, it's got to start with a very clear mission statement. It's got to start at the top of the organization and make its way all the way down. And the reason why I picked um, this particular quote is not because it's our CEO. This is what we live and breathe every day. Um, this quote actually came from, if you're wondering what that is, we refer to it internally as DAC, which is our Dell Annual Analyst Conference. I like to joke, this is where we bring 160 to 170 of our closest influencer friends, except this year we did something a little bit different. We actually threw open some of the lab doors. We actually had deeper level conversations about not what the things that we have available today, where are we going, and more importantly, how are we going to ensure that we're really delivering on a future-ready enterprise? And as you can see, the strategy that starts at the top, which means this is what thousands of engineers, thousands of salespeople, and a whole bunch of uh, marketing and partner-related organizations do, is Michael's advice to everybody. Find a technology partner that'll help your customers make the transition. Our industry isn't a transition. The you know, traditional approach of where people had siloed architectures, where people had different groups, usually in the same location, those days are gone. It's about more the collaboration. It's about more using effectively how can we use cloud in order to go drive change. So as you find someone who can help your customers make that transition, make sure that the information and the advice you're giving them works today and tomorrow. That's what we at Dell refer to as the future-ready enterprise. And by the way, that future-ready enterprise should reflect the type of data center that it's going to be in, one that's open, one that's modular, and one that's flexible. So that was just to give you a feel for where we're at. But let's talk about the real meat, which is how we're, we collectively are going to accelerate open. And the way we're going to do that is you're going to see us continue a couple of things that have worked really well for us. Partnerships happen to be one. A lot of folks don't realize we were one of the founding members for Open Daylight, Open NFV, and also, you can congratulate uh, both ourselves and Red Hat, we now have multiple reference architectures and multiple delivers that are certified by the OpenStack community. But it doesn't just stop there. We also believe in a software-defined data center. Software-defined data centers can be storage, they can be networking. So you've probably heard and seen a lot of the quote, open work that we've done both with Cumulus and that we've also done with Big Switch. 
What does that mean? It means that unlike a lot of other folks, we don't actually give you a platform that already has your OS, that already has your VLSIs and everything else pre-built in. We'll give you the infrastructure. You pick the OS. You pick the types of things you want to run on it. And you know, the industry is starting to refer to that as Brightbox. So from a partnership perspective, we're going to continue to do that. What you'll also start to see us do is talk about some of the other partners we're bringing in. One of the things that I would suggest if you haven't had a chance to do it is go down to the uh, demo floor. There you'll see something that we're building in partnership with both Red Hat and with Intel. One of the things that we hear consistently is, look, you know, in order to really make this enterprise class and enterprise grade, we got to have some level of high availability. Step one is available now. We actually have a tech preview where we're showing the capability that if your VMs happen to run into issues, we can safely migrate those VMs. We can allow you to go in and do whatever maintenance you need to do and not have any downtime or not impact the operations. Those are the kind of things that we're starting to do in order to accelerate the open. But there's going to be more than that. We're also talking about how do we take that high availability, how do we also now put that into OpenShift? We said very loudly, very proudly, very publicly that we would partner with Red Hat on OpenShift. That's already occurring. As a matter of fact, we like to joke that we're vinters who drink our own champagne. Not only are we making this available for everybody else, but we're also starting to utilize it in our products. We're taking some of those OpenShift components and we're putting them into our very own client products at Dell. And so again, what we want to do there is accelerate this larger trend of how do we turn this into something that truly does become software as a service and does have that simple, that easy, and that uh, modular capabilities. And then last but not least is you're going to start to see us talk about a lot of other partnerships. The first one is folks don't realize that we were the first folks to have SAP HANA certified on Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux. And the reason why that's important is it's not the fact that we got the certification. It's the fact that if you look at because of that certification, if you look at the benchmarks, if you look at what the performance level that we're able to drive, that allowed us to get the number one benchmarks, and that's the reason why SAP awarded Dell the 2015 Innovation Partner of the Year Award. So the bottom line is you're going to start to see a lot more on how we're accelerating this open trend, how we're actually bringing to bear our expertise in partnership and collaboration with all of you in order to go help drive the business outcomes and truly help change the way things are going. But one caveat I want to leave you with, and that caveat is we want to make sure, and I'm going to ask all of you to help, that we've got to keep OpenStack open. You don't want to go through those castle gates. You do not want to become somebody who is now stuck inside that walled garden. I wasn't here, but I'm told Jim Whitehurst had a great uh, phrase where he talked about the fact of be leery of anybody who tells you that they've got open and the, it only comes from a single vendor. So one of the things you'll hear loud and clear from us is the fact of we're determined to keep OpenStack open and because we're not going to go create our own distro. We're not going to compete with our partners. We're going to work with all of you to ensure that we're helping move the industry forward and uh, ensuring that this really is something that's going to be an item that we can talk about for multiple years. But let's talk about the future a little bit. Where are we going now? You know, one of the things that's always interesting is, and I'm sure most of you have heard the Gartner phrase, the hype curve. The hype curve being that everybody typically sees the new shiny object, which in this case is the stuff on the right. Yes, it's real. But if you look at the adoption, it's not as far up or it's not as much as most people would like. Very early stages, but like everything else, big things start small. So believe it or not, there are still a lot of people that are at basic enterprise virtualization. And for them, that's great. That's exactly what they need. There's a lot of folks who are now in the middle, and they're doing what we refer to as cloud IT, which is basically VM-based IT. We believe that all of these are going to have to coexist. There is no customer, at least that I've run into, who has done the student body left, or in this case, student body right, and uh, has quickly gone from the enterprise virtualization all the way to the right. All of these have to work in harmony. All of these have to be around simultaneously and at the same time. What we need to do is figure out how we're going to go put all of that together and ensure that it is easy, it is seamless, and it's something that, as I, to use my phrase, mere mortals can actually instantiate, and you don't need the armies of admins in order to go put it in place. So what you're going to see from us in the future is how we take this complexity 
and how we're going to make it very simple. And we're going to do that with a lot of the partnerships. We want to make it as easy as Legos. And the reason why we chose Legos, if you think about it, or I'm saying Legos, depending on which part of the world you're from, you might prefer Duplos. But the net is, the reason why we chose Legos is, think about it. They're intuitive, they're simple, they're easy to understand, they're modular in nature, they're flexible, they allow you to build things your way, they allow you to also be able to build things today and tomorrow. So that's going to be the common theme, that's going to be the results that you'll see from us year over year, summit after summit, how we're helping to move this ball forward, and we're going to ask that all of you help collectively do that with us. Now, I could talk about you know, strategy all day long, but I'm a pragmatist. Let me make it real for you. Let me give you just one example out of the many that we could have chosen. And the example that we chose was Yale and the, and the uh, University of Singapore, or National University of Singapore. The bottom line is, here's a perfect example of where we have taken that joint innovation, that joint collaboration, that partnership, and just look at what we've been able to drive for them from a business perspective. Not only are we enabling them to do breakthrough research in their digital humanities, but from a results perspective, we're helping them take what used to be weeks and months, and they can now actually do it in days and hours. We're not only helping them do that, but we're actually sitting down and co-engineering this with them and with Red Hat. So the bottom line is the next time Yale wants to expand yet again, the next time Yale wants to go take what we've done in their digital humanities group and do it for another department, it's simple. It's fast, it's easy, it's cost effective, and it's because we're able to do this in truly a collaborative and a partnership fashion. So where do we go from here? Real simple, I'm gonna have three ask. I'm gonna ask first of all, there's a lot of folks here from the Dell team from around the world, so depending on which geo you're from, go downstairs, have a conversation, they'll be able to tell you on how they're instantiating this for everybody else. More importantly, you'll be able to see some of the early tech previews of how we're partnering with multiple other teams in order to go take that collective brilliance and bring it to bear. The other item we're gonna ask is two, we have roughly 27 or 28 Dell solution centers around the world. Swing by and see one. You'll have the capability of having zero cost abilities to run a demo. You can either physically show up or we can actually give you the ability to remotely log in. But go in, take a look at some of the stuff that's going on there. Bring, bring your uh, workloads, bring your applications, because that's how we're going to collaborate in order to make some of these things a lot better. So have a conversation or swing by one of our Dell Solution Centers. And then last but not least, let's continue doing what we've always done, which is let's collaborate. Because in essence, what we want to do is not only help customers deliver that kind of business outcome or the results thereafter, but we want to help them instantiate their OpenStack solutions for their clouds, their way, and not dictate it to them the way that some of our competitors would do it. And so with that, I'd like to say thank you very much, and I wish you all a uh, great rest of show.